Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Thursday, we haven't heard from everybody in a long time. <laughs> Sayyidi, how do we maintain the spiritual momentum that we have built up in Ramadan into post Ramadan? InshaAllah, A'udhu Billahi wa Shaitan, Bismillah ar rahman rahim That <coughs> the, the feeling and the euphoria from Ramadan is uniquely Ramadan because of the fasting and entering a state of fast and the feelings, the energies, all these experiences are meant to be uniquely in Ramadan. But it gives us like a head start to continue that himma and the zeal in which to attend the zikrs, do the awrad, do all the practices, keep the connection so that Allah can continue to send that fires and that energy. And know that from Mawlana Shaykh's teaching, every night is Laylatul Qadr. Don't, don't think th these are once in a lifetime events, that for these Qadri souls and the souls in which they operate in this reality. They're continuously teaching their students every night is zikr, salamun hiya hatta mitla al-fajr. There's a tajalli coming every morning, every tahajjud all the way to fajr. As much as you can attend their associations, watch on live, do their practices, these fires, these lights and these dressings should be coming upon the soul, feeling, feeling a lot more energy. So we pray that Allah give an opening, that's what we said that this 90 days of this difficulty upon the earth is like an opening for an awakening. Many people are experiencing and we said that these difficulties are not diminishing, they are all going to be increasing. But now we hope we have more of the tools to survive them. Keep your supplies, keep your practices, don't run on empty, make sure your home has supplies. Get your hydrogen peroxide for cleaning, put it in a little spray, spray your hands. Try not to use only those alcohol wipes and those things that have alcohol in them, they actually burn more. So you put that little alcohol sanitizer in a plate and then they showed you that put an, an, a match near that and then take the match away. It looks like nothing's burning, then you put a little piece of tissue near it and it sets on fire. The fire from that is not even visible and that from spiritual teaching that we don't rub ourselves with alcohol to be clean. So hydrogen peroxide is, is a magnified water. <laughs> so try to keep these supplies around so that you always have these supplies if they open up and, and now everything's short on sales. Keep these in your home, these are necessary tools for viruses and pandemics. Keep your masks, keep your, your hydrogen peroxide, keep vitamins, keep supplies in the home for days of difficulty inshaAllah. If something eases up then that's a time for us to prepare again and to have the necessary supplies in our home inshaAllah. Sayyidi, a question was asked yesterday on how to view oneself in the presence of Prophet Muhammad I'm a little confused, I thought we were to negate ourselves during tafakkur. Yes, and what was the answer that we gave yesterday? Every day is a new tajalli. <laughs> <laughs> this was somebody asking that they want to see themselves at Raza Sharif. So the concept of negating yourself is to continuously tell yourself and your nafs that you're nothing, you're nothing, you're nothing, you're nothing, but to see yourself always at Raza Sharif. So that I'm always at Raza Sharif but I'm telling my nafs I'm nothing. So nobody can see themselves as nothing unless they've trained themselves to be nothing, then they would see themselves disappearing. That's a different level of training. When you close your eyes and see yourself as nothing, you probably see a silhouette of yourself to show you that you can't really believe that you're nothing. Later when you ask to be in the hudur of the shaykh is that I'm asking to be in the presence of my shaykh and that I'm just a, 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 a dust in his jubba. And see if you can keep the image of the shaykh and that you're non-existent there. It's very difficult, people can't see that and they see only themselves. 
that you're nafs telling you that it's not disappearing, I'm right here. You can dream all you want but I'm right here. So then that gives the sign you, you need a lot more scrubbing, a lot more scrubbing. So one is the understanding I'm nothing and then the most important is to place myself always at Rosa Sharif, that I'm nothing, I'm no one, I don't think I deserve anything but I'm here Rosa Sharif to be under the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad and to reach to just be a carpet under the holy feet of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidi, if we feel excess positive energy, is it recommended to carry the excess negative energy from our beloved family members through meditation and salawat? You carry the excess positive energy and that you seal yourself and your energy with your practices. Allah will release it the way He wants the soul to release it. I wouldn't advise going around thinking, I want to bless everyone, dress everyone because you may empty yourself too fast and there may be somebody that you're not aware of that has a tremendous amount of burdens that can make you sick very fast. Right now we have to worry about building ourself and not others. They say that you can't give what you don't have. Everybody wants to be a spiritual healer but they don't want to heal themselves because this is a sickness. They want to be something but the whole way is to be nothing. Once you're nothing you don't want to be anything, you don't want to help anyone, you want to help yourself first to be nothing. So they teach you on the plane, when the plane is about to go down put the mask on yourself and then work on your child. For if you're busy putting the mask on the child then you lose altitude, you're going to pass out and the child is not going to have a mask on their face. So they say, first secure yourself, once you're all secure then you start to work on other people. But you go out and try to do dawah and healing and this and that and you're on pukhte, you're not cooked, you're not ripe, you're going to make everyone sick. So what we used to say about the uncooked turkey? Because you're not cooked, right? You look on the outside, you look like you're brown, mm, that looks delicious. You bite in and what you get is salmonella poisoning because it's not cooked on the inside. So it's one thing when the nation is more of a outside cooked, they wear nice white, they put all these outfits on, they put all these things and they look like, woo, these are real cooked guys, you know, they look, they look very pious. But inside, empty, no time, it's, inside is poisonous. But they didn't want the way of Paschia. So the inside is more important. Better to cook the chicken for a long time. The browning and roasting you can do in a few minutes. Just put it near the broiler and it <laughs> roasts really quick. The outside you can fix right away. But the inside is the one that has the work and the, and the difficult part, inshaAllah. You like chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was hungry for dinner because we're going too long. <laughs> Sayyidi, what can be the minor leaks in energy that one might easily overlook? Yeah, not following the sunnah. The sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is a great defense, it's an immense weapon, it's an ancient pyramid. If you look at the ancient pyramids, those were power plants. Those were not tombs, there's nobody buried in those. Those big pyramids were brought onto this earth from a technology that these men don't understand and it was about insulation and the production of power. Prophet Wasallam's sunnah is more powerful. He brought the sunnah and the garment, the ring, the asa, the, the tupi, the hat, the turban, all of that are energy and all of those are to produce the energy, secure the energy and then the person becomes a sealed energy plant. That any nazar comes their ring is a defense against them, their asa is a grounding for them because they have two prongs of their feet and this energy is continuously conflicting from negative coming from the earth and the heavenly coming upon their soul. The third is a grounding, 
So it's the grounding line that pushes all the negative energy back into the earth. The ring is, is a gift from Prophet that he gave to Sayyidina Sulaiman that controls a mulk and a majesty if Prophet energizes that reality. So it means everything from Prophet is a power. The beard is a power. It has a power of protection against these lataif for talking and for healing and for everything. Is nothing that Prophet brought that didn't have an immense reality. So even the hair to be short to take away the wild energy. <coughs> so everything that Prophet brought is of an immense reality. As much as we can keep that, keep the concept of wudu, pray the two rakahs of salat of wudu to seal the energy, then you're sealing more than what you're losing. And then the mouth, how to control the mouth and the character. So there's nothing like that you fill up from the zikr, you get all this good energy and no doubt that shaitan is waiting outside the door. As soon as you get in the car something going to happen, argument going to happen by the time you're home because shaitan wants to pull that barakah out. It doesn't want the person to be excess and begin to make a, a positive charge. So it's like those solar dishes. What's the point of having a solar dish if you can't store the power coming in? You, you're just putting it there for design, putting $20,000 worth of cells on the roof. So then the, the storage technology was more important than the cellular technology. That how am I going to store this energy that coming on my roof so I have a benefit if I'm going to put that kind of money into it, I better store it. So then now some of the top more smarter people came out with very powerful storage. Where enough people store it, they're giving back to the power companies and charging them do you want to use my power? This is the Musk technology. Put 10,000 homes with the cellular storage and now he becomes a power company. More powerful than the power company because these 10,000 homes that are working with him are producing an immense amount of energy from the sun free. Not the power plant that's running with gas and turbine engine. <laughs> this was the old knowledges. This is what the, the pyramid was doing. It was using water and sunlight and they were running the water under the pyramid. And the, the electrons and the energy that the water would give off from the natural sun in that region that was so intense, this energy would be released, the pyramid structure would hold that energy. And every energy and vibration was happening inside. Why Pharaoh didn't want maybe Musa to leave? Musa meant like lightning, that his secret for that nation was he had the power. When he left he took the technology and cast them into darkness and that's why he didn't want him to go. Power's gone, <laughs> inshaAllah. One more and then we do our zikr inshaAllah. Speaking of cooked chicken baby, yes. how would we know we have achieved that level to be nothing that we are cooked? When you're cooked? Oh you'll, you feel the, that you're cooked <laughs> when everything is, is, is in difficulty, every type of crushing, every type of, of crushingness. You understand when life is crushing you and sadness is surrounding you and every type of difficulty is all around. You feel yourself it's been crushed. You'll know it when you get there. And the more you're crushed and the more these types of difficulties come in life, the stronger your connection if you're practicing. Because your practicing works best with the sad and broken hearted. So that when they build that connection through difficulty, then when everything becomes good and the days are sunny, the connection is also strong and made. But to make the connection with everything great, it doesn't work that way. Tell somebody, sit down and meditate, oh I can't, I have to go to the beach, I have to go here, I have to go there, I'm doing all these things. Then all of a sudden everybody said, the beach is even closed, the pandemic is coming, you're all going to die, you're going to die. What do you mean? You say, you're going to die. Body pictures everywhere, the other people are going to die. I'm going to go to a room and meditate now because that room became like a qabr for you. You think, I'm, I'm really going to die so I better make sure I'm good with Allah and my room become like my grave and I start making my zikr. Then we understood through difficulty 
there's an understanding of why Allah sends that difficulty. When it makes us to cry, makes the heart to become soft and this then draws us towards that reality inshaAllah. So that when days are good we've made that connection, we're thankful to Allah that Ya Rabbi don't need another beating, I got it, I understand and, and I'm, I'm going to, to submit to the best of my ability so I don't need to see more of the difficult days and then the believer begins. But there are actually some people who only function through crisis. Every time something's good they forget and they go. The practices are gone, you don't see them, nothing. The crisis actors, as soon as things become horrible again, who's Shaykh I'm here again, I'm going to everything's falling apart. So we try to not be of those and try to be that, Ya Rabbi that when difficulty comes I learned and when good days I believe more and I'll do more Ya Rabbi and inshaAllah they, they become more istiqam and firm in what they believe inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafa di Rasul Kareem. InshaAllah. Bi niyat khatm khawjigan. Click the link now to subscribe.